In this video, we will be covering the RPAT, or Recon Physical Assessment Test. This test is used in the recon screening process and is a gauge for active duty recon marines physical fitness that is conducted, or should be conducted, once a year. So don't think you'll only be doing this in BRC. At the minimum, you'll be doing this in the Recon Team Leaders course, or RTLC, as well. This is going to be a brief and general overview of what the test is. If you have any questions regarding the video, or anything we say, feel free to leave a comment below. We love to answer your questions to the best of our abilities. And now without further ado, I'm going to hand it off to Nick Nardo. You didn't say, let's get to it. Shut the brolly hell up and explain it to them. Chill out reporter, I'll say it for you. Let's get to it. The art pack consists of the following. 500 meter swim slick. Max set of push-ups in two minutes. Max set of sit-ups in two minutes. Max set of pull-ups. One and a half mile run. 12.4 mile ruck run or 20K. Marine O course times two. We're gonna kick it off with the swim. So in the words of the reporter, let's get to it. Go fuck yourself. The first thing you'll execute in the RPAT is the 500 meter swim. Not to be confused with the RSAT. The RPAT swim is done slick, meaning shorts and t-shirt. You have 12 minutes and 30 seconds to complete the swim. Breaststroke for the Marines or combat side stroke for the corpsmen are recommended strokes. You have a 10 minute rest before the push-ups begin. The push-ups are very strict on the RPAT as to prepare the candidates for the Airborne Army PFT. The minimum push-ups required are max effort. Palms cannot move, legs cannot move, all the way down, all the way up. You are authorized to stick your ass up in the air to rest, otherwise known as building a house. Like you have two minutes to perform as many reps as possible. Heavy breathing, heavy breathing. I can do push-ups forever. Next up are the Army Airborne Sit-Ups. Army Airborne Sit-Ups are performed by interlocking your fingers behind your head and performing a sit-up to where your elbows touch or break the plane of your knees. This is one repetition. Again, the minimum required is max effort. Your buddy cannot use anything but his arms and hands to hold your feet down. Next up is pull-ups. Perform strict pull-ups, chin over the bar, to arms fully extended, no kipping whatsoever. Grip is strictly pronated, meaning palms facing away from you. The minimum is eight pull-ups, but you're cutting it close if that's all you can do. Yeah, that's right, I'm fucking Tommy tinnitus. We're about to do the run. And I just want to make sure I uh, have enough energy for it. Never know if I'll need a turbo boost to the end. I don't know where to put it while I'm running. Wait, I got it. Dude, that's a good idea. I think I'll do the same thing. Everyone needs a good turbo boost. Did you just put that in your shorts, mate? Yee yee. This guy's a fucking weirdo. Next up is the mile and a half run, perform slick, running shoes and PT gear. The minimum time is 11 minutes and 30 seconds. You'll have a 10 minute rest between your run and the pull-ups. After a 30 minute rest, next up is the kicker. You have three hours to ruck run 12.4 miles or 20K with 50 pound rucksack on your back. Get used to being anal about the weight of your ruck because you could do this run in an hour, but if your rucksack weighs 49.9 pounds, you fail. This isn't just to test the physical fitness, it also is an integrity check. To get a better idea of what your pace needs to be, you need 15 minute miles or four miles per hour pace. If you need a guide on how to set up your rucksack for ruck runs, check out our video on how to make a sandbag pig egg. The link will be in the description below. Lastly, after a 10 minute rest is the obstacle course. You will perform it twice. The first repetition being completed in two minutes and 30 seconds or less, the second rep is for completion. We do not recommend you doing this by yourself. This is an intense training test designed only to be performed with correct medical supervision and safety structure. We've made a video on how to do the Marine Obstacle Course, so make sure to check the link in the description if you'd like to know how to do it. Thanks for watching another one of our videos, guys. Once again, make sure to show us some love and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody that wants to join the military or wants to join the Special Operations community, make sure to refer them to our channel.
heavy breathing heavy breathing thanks for watching our video guys tonight is out all your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here